All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to showcase and also show you how to use the Me6Bot music component. And I say component because Me6Bot has a whole lot of different things that they can do. They're a multi-purpose bot. They've got levels, they've got custom greetings, they've got custom commands, they can post updates from your favorite social media, YouTube, and Twitch channels. All that good stuff is built in. And one of the very many fat features that they have is they can play music. Uh, they have a very basic music player that runs off of YouTube. And if you're like a lot of people right now looking for an alternative to RhythmBot or to Groovy, then this might be the solution for you because a lot of people already use the auto moderation features built into Me6 on their servers. So to showcase this, I'm just gonna pop into the My Server section, just the dashboard. I'll go to the dashboard for my primary Chupacabra's Lair server. And then down here in the left-hand sidebar, there's a music section, and you just wanna make sure that that's turned on. And it says active here in the upper corner. And if you look through this little list of slash commands, pretty much everything you'd want a basic music bot to do, Me6 can do. The only stuff it lacks is it doesn't do a lot of multi-platform support. I think it's just off of YouTube and it doesn't have like cool audio effects. Although if you do pay for it, you get things like volume controls and then you can use like a proper music control interface on the dashboard to control starting and stopping your music without using slash commands. But I'm just interested in the basic package. So that's what we're going to check out. So here on my server, I've popped into the recording layer channel. And then, because you need to be logged into a voice channel in order to listen to a music bot. And so from there, I'm going to type in slash search, making sure in this pop-up to select the correct bot, because more than one bot can use slash commands. So it's important to see which one you're using. And I'm going to search for NCS, because they won't get me flagged on YouTube for their music. And then I will tell it to play number one. Now, Me6 is a little bit weird in that uh, it won't just immediately pop into the channel with you and start playing music. It actually lets you just search for and add a bunch of music to the queue before you pop it and have it start playing it. So I'm actually going to just add a couple of different things to the uh, music queue for NCS, and then I will have it play me some music. So there we go. Got a few things in there. Now I can just type slash play. And then Me6 should pop into the channel with me and start playing the music. Now I will say, as it starts to play music, I have been experiencing some intermittent lag tonight with the music portion of the bot. That could be because they're having technical difficulties. The bot is very popular. Uh, it's also possible that I, because I'm in the middle of a thunderstorm right now, it's interfering because I have satellite internet. Uh, but for the most part, when I've been testing it today on and off, it's been pretty reliable, decent sound quality, and it responds reasonably quickly. Although I did notice that as we got into prime time, some of the music commands were a little slow as it was processing what you wanted it to do, but it eventually got there in the end. So from here, I can check out some other commands. I can type in the Q if I select the correct bot. And that will tell me what is currently playing. And it tells me how much time is left. It also tells me what is left in the queue coming up next. And if I paid for premium, I could click on this remove button and it would take me right back to this page on the dashboard where I could modify what is currently in the queue down here at the bottom. But you can only get that if you pay for premium. And like, I like music bots and all that, but that's not the one type of bot that I would probably pay premium for. So from there, what else looks interesting to test? Uh, we've got skip, previous, replay, search, resume. I guess we can pause and resume. So let's see how well that works, slash pause. And then we can do slash resume. And that's reasonably snappy. I like that. And then if we're done with it, we can just right click and tell it to stop. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a brief look at the Me6 bots. 
ability to play music, along with how you use it. And uh, that'll be about it. Um, if you're looking for a bot, I would recommend this one. It works pretty well. Although some of the more powerful features have slowly been being locked behind premium. They kind of jump around between like what's locked behind premium or not. So your mileage may vary. So that'll be it for this one. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Links to this bot are in the video description below.